And the children of Israel set forward and pitched in the plains of Moab, on this side Jordan, by Jericho. And Balak, the son of Zippor, saw all that Israel had done to the Amorites. And Moab was sore afraid of the people, because they were many. And Moab was distressed because of the children of Israel. And Moab said unto the elders of Midian, Now shall this company lick up all that are round about us, as the ox licks up the grass of the field. And Balak, the son of Zippor, was king of the Moabites at that time. He sent messengers therefore unto Balaam, the son of Beor, to Pethor, which is by the river of the land of the children of his people, to call him, saying, Behold, there is a people come out from Egypt. Behold, they cover the face of the earth, and they abide over against me. Come now, therefore, I pray you, curse me this people, for they are too mighty for me. Peradventure I shall prevail, that we may smite them, and that I may drive them out of the land. For I wot that he whom you bless is blessed, and he whom you curse is cursed. And the elders of Moab and the elders of Midian departed with the rewards of divination in their hand. And they came unto Balaam, and spake unto him the words of Balak. And he said unto them, Lodge here this night, and I will bring you word again, as the Lord shall speak unto me. And the princes of Moab abode with Balaam. And God came unto Balaam, and said, What men are these with you? And Balaam said unto God, Balak, the son of Zippor, king of Moab, has sent unto me, saying, Behold, there is a people come out of Egypt, which covers the face of the earth. Come now, curse me them. Peradventure I shall be able to overcome them, and drive them out. And God said unto Balaam, You shall not go with them. You shall not curse the people, for they are blessed. And Balaam rose up in the morning, and said unto the princes of Balak, Get you into your land, for the Lord refuses to give me leave to go with you. And the princes of Moab rose up, and they went unto Balak, and said, Balaam refuses to come with us. And Balak sent yet again princes more and more honorable than they. And they came to Balaam, and said to him, Thus says Balak, the son of Zippor, Let nothing, I pray you, hinder you from coming unto me, for I will promote you unto very great honor, and I will do whatsoever you say unto me. Come therefore, I pray you, curse me this people. And Balaam answered and said unto the servants of Balak, If Balak would give me his house full of silver and gold, I cannot go beyond the word of the Lord my God to do less or more. Now therefore, I pray you, Tarry you also here this night, that I may know what the Lord will say unto me more. And God came unto Balaam at night, and said unto him, If the men come to call you, rise up, and go with them. But yet the word which I shall say unto you, that shall you do. And Balaam rose up in the morning, and saddled his ass, and went with the princes of Moab. And God's anger was kindled, because he went, and the angel of the Lord stood in the way for an adversary against him. Now he was riding upon his ass, and his two servants were with him. And the ass saw the angel of the Lord standing in the way, and his sword drawn in his hand. And the ass turned aside out of the way, and went into the field. And Balaam smote the ass to turn her into the way. But the angel of the Lord stood in the path of the vineyards, a wall being on this side, and a wall on that side. And when the ass saw the angel of the Lord, she thrust herself unto the wall, and crushed Balaam's foot against the wall, and he smote her again. And the angel of the Lord went further, and stood in a narrow place, where was no way to turn, either to the right hand or to the left. And when the ass saw the angel of the Lord, she fell down under Balaam, and Balaam's anger was kindled, and he smote the ass with a staff. And the Lord opened the mouth of the ass, and she said unto Balaam, What have I done unto you, that you have smitten me these three times? And Balaam said unto the ass, Because you have mocked me, I would there were a sword in mine hand, for now would I kill you. And the ass said unto Balaam, Am not I your ass, upon which you have ridden ever since I was yours unto this day? Was I ever wont to do so unto you? And he said, No. Then the Lord opened the eyes of Balaam, and he saw the angel of the Lord standing in the way, and his sword drawn in his hand, and he bowed down his head, and fell flat on his face. And the angel of the Lord said unto him, Wherefore 
have you smitten your ass these three times. Behold, I went out to withstand you, because your way is perverse before me. And the ass saw me, and turned from me these three times. Unless she had turned from me, surely now also I had slain you, and saved her alive. And Balaam said unto the angel of the Lord, I have sinned, for I knew not that you stood in the way against me. Now therefore, if it displease you, I will get me back again. And the angel of the Lord said unto Balaam, Go with the men, but only the word that I shall speak unto you, that you shall speak. So Balaam went with the princes of Balak. And when Balak heard that Balaam was come, he went out to meet him unto a city of Moab, which is in the border of Arnon, which is in the utmost coast. And Balak said unto Balaam, Did I not earnestly send unto you to call you? Wherefore came you not unto me? Am I not able indeed to promote you to honor? And Balaam said unto Balak, Lo, I am come unto you. Have I now any power at all to say anything? The word that God puts in my mouth, that shall I speak. And Balaam went with Balak, and they came unto Kirjath Huzath. And Balak offered oxen and sheep, and sent to Balaam, and to the princes that were with him. And it came to pass on the morrow that Balak took Balaam, and brought him up into the high places of Baal, that thence he might see the utmost part of the people. And Balaam said unto Balak, Build me here seven altars, and prepare me here seven oxen and seven rams. And Balak did as Balaam had spoken, and Balak and Balaam offered on every altar a bullock and a ram. And Balaam said unto Balak, Stand by your burnt offering, and I will go. Peradventure the Lord will come to meet me, and whatsoever he shows me I will tell you. And he went to an high place. And God met Balaam, and he said unto him, I have prepared seven altars, and I have offered upon every altar a bullock and a ram. And the Lord put a word in Balaam's mouth, and said, Return unto Balak, and thus you shall speak. And he returned unto him, and lo, he stood by his burnt sacrifice, he and all the princes of Moab. And he took up his parable, and said, Balak, the king of Moab, has brought me from Aram, out of the mountains of the east, saying, Come, curse me, Jacob, and come, defy Israel. How shall I curse whom God has not cursed, or how shall I defy whom the Lord has not defied? For from the top of the rocks I see him, and from the hills I behold him. Lo, the people shall dwell alone, and shall not be reckoned among the nations. Who can count the dust of Jacob, and the number of the fourth part of Israel? Let me die the death of the righteous, and let my last end be like his. And Balak said unto Balaam, What have you done unto me? I took you to curse mine enemies, and behold, you have blessed them altogether. And he answered and said, Must I not take heed to speak that which the Lord has put in my mouth? And Balak said unto him, Come, I pray you, with me unto another place, from whence you may see them. You shall see but the utmost part of them, and shall not see them all, and curse me them from there. And he brought him into the field of Zophim, to the top of Pisgah, and built seven altars, and offered a bullock and a ram on every altar. And he said unto Balak, Stand here by your burnt offering while I meet the Lord yonder. And the Lord met Balaam, and put a word in his mouth, and said, Go again unto Balak, and say thus. And when he came to him, behold, he stood by his burnt offering, and the princes of Moab with him. And Balak said unto him, What has the Lord spoken? And he took up his parable, and said, Rise up, Balak, and hear, hearken unto me, you son of Zippor. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Has he said, and shall he not do it? Or has he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Behold, I have received commandment to bless, and he has blessed, and I cannot reverse it. He has not beheld iniquity in Jacob, neither has he seen perverseness in Israel. The Lord his God is with him, and the shout of a king is among them. God brought them out of Egypt. He has, as it were, the strength of an unicorn. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, What has God wrought? Behold, the people shall rise up as a great lion, and lift up himself as a young lion. 
He shall not lie down until he eat of the prey, and drink the blood of the slain. And Balak said unto Balaam, Neither curse them at all, nor bless them at all. But Balaam answered and said unto Balak, Told not I you, saying, All that the Lord speaks, that I must do? And Balak said unto Balaam, Come, I pray you, I will bring you unto another place. Peradventure it will please God that you may curse me them from there. And Balak brought Balaam unto the top of Peor, that looks toward Jeshimon. And Balaam said unto Balak, Build me here seven altars, and prepare me here seven bullocks and seven rams. And Balak did as Balaam had said, and offered a bullock and a ram on every altar. And when Balaam saw that it pleased the Lord to bless Israel, he went not as at other times to seek for enchantments, but he set his face toward the wilderness. And Balaam lifted up his eyes, and he saw Israel abiding in his tents according to their tribes, and the Spirit of God came upon him. And he took up his parable and said, Balaam, the son of Beor, has said, and the man whose eyes are open has said, He has said which heard the words of God, which saw the vision of the Almighty, falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. How goodly are your tents, O Jacob, and your tabernacles, O Israel! As the valleys are, they spread forth, as gardens by the river's side, as the trees of line aloes which the Lord has planted, and as cedar trees beside the waters. He shall pour the water out of his buckets, and his seed shall be in many waters, and his king shall be higher than Agag, and his kingdom shall be exalted. God brought him forth out of Egypt. He has, as it were, the strength of an unicorn. He shall eat up the nations his enemies, and shall break their bones, and pierce them through with his arrows. He couched, he lay down as a lion, and as a great lion, who shall stir him up? Blessed is he that blesses you, and cursed is he that curses you. And Balak's anger was kindled against Balaam, and he smote his hands together. And Balak said unto Balaam, I called you to curse mine enemies, and behold, you have altogether blessed them these three times. Therefore now, flee you to your place. I thought to promote you unto great honor, but lo, the Lord has kept you back from honor. And Balaam said unto Balak, Spake I not also to your messengers, which you sent unto me, saying, If Balak would give me his house full of silver and gold, I cannot go beyond the commandment of the Lord, to do either good or bad of mine own mind. But what the Lord says, that will I speak. And now, behold, I go unto my people. Come, therefore, and I will advertise you what this people shall do to your people in the latter days. And he took up his parable and said, Balaam, the son of Beor, has said, and the man whose eyes are open has said. He has said which heard the words of God, and knew the knowledge of the Most High, which saw the vision of the Almighty, falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not near. There shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel, and shall smite the corners of Moab, and destroy all the children of Sheth. And Edom shall be a possession, Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies, and Israel shall do valiantly. Out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion, and shall destroy him that remains of this city. And when he looked on Amalek, he took up his parable, and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. And he looked on the Kenites, and took up his parable, and said, Strong is your dwelling place, and you put your nest in a rock. Nevertheless, the Kenite shall be wasted, until Asher shall carry you away captive. And he took up his parable, and said, Alas, who shall live when God does this? And ships shall come from the coast of Shittim, and shall afflict Asher, and shall afflict Eber, and he also shall perish forever. And Balaam rose up, and went, and returned to his place, 